About a year and a half ago, Chris and I were approached by the Miller Center at the University of Virginia and the College of William and Mary to co-chair an independent, bipartisan commission to consider an issue that has bedeviled legal experts and government officials since the Constitution was framed. And that is the question of how our nation makes the decision to enter into war. Of course, our Constitution gives the President the powers of Commander-in-Chief. Congress, of course, has the power of the purse, and it also has the power to declare war. But history indicates that Presidents and Congresses have often disagreed about their respective roles in the decision to go to war, and the Supreme Court has shied away from settling the constitutional issue. After 14 months of study, including seven meetings around the country and interviews with more than 40 experts on this matter, our Commission has unanimously concluded that the central law governing this critical decision, that is, the War Powers Resolution of 1973, is ineffective, and it should be repealed, and it should be replaced, however, with a better law. The fundamental purpose of our statute is to ensure that the President consults with the Congress before taking the nation to war. The uh, statute that we propose, which we call the War Powers Consultation Act of 2009, is really quite straightforward and relatively simple. It establishes a bipartisan joint congressional consultation committee consisting of the leaders of both the House and the Senate and the chairman, chairs, and ranking members of all the key committees. Under the statute, and this is a bit of an in innovation, for the first time this committee is given a professional staff, permanent character, bipartisan, bipartisan character, and they're also provided with full intelligence and other national security information. Under the statute, the President is required to consult with the uh, Joint Congressional Consultation Committee before deploying troops into any significant armed conflict, which we define under the statute as combat operation lasting a week or expected to last a week. 